So let's do our second example of uh, four second order equations. This is uh, a mass on a spring connected to a wall. Uh, I guess you can view this as a top view and the mass is sliding and oscillating. Um, there's a f external force. So in addition to the spring, there's some uh, forcing acting on it. Okay. Um, what, how do we write down a differential equation for this? This is basically uh, F equals MA problem. So this is Newton's law, F equals MA. And uh, acceleration is uh, d squared x dt squared, right? So the main point here then is to figure out what are the forces on this mass. Uh, so there's a Hooke's law, which is the saying that the force due to the spring is equal to minus kx. So a linear law for the uh, uh, Hooke's law, meaning that if you move the mass a distance x to the right, the restoring force will be to the left, the, the spring gets stretched, and the force will be proportional to the distance that you move the mass from equilibrium. So x is measured from equilibrium. So you move it a distance x, the force is in the negative x direction and is equal to minus kx. Uh, on top of that, you need to model friction. So we have the uh, frictional force. Uh, we're going to model friction as uh, opposing the motion of the mass. So if the mass is moving with some velocity in the positive x direction, the friction is going to be modeled as proportional to the velocity, but in the opposite direction, so opposing the motion. So we're going to model the friction by minus c times the uh, uh, velocity, which will be uh, dx dt. Um, and then uh, finally we have one more force, which is the external force. So the external force will be driving this uh, uh, mass. So the external force will model by Fe is equal to F naught times cosine omega t as a sinusoidal external force. Okay, so this is the physics. Uh, F equals ma. Hooke's law for the spring, modeling the force due to the spring. Uh, friction, uh, the force is uh, opposing the uh, motion, proportional to the velocity, but opposing the velocity, causing the mass to slow down and an external force. So those are our Fs, and that's equal to mass times acceleration. So the uh, governing equation here then is going to be uh, m d squared x dt squared. That's the ma. And that's uh, pull the forces onto the left-hand side. We have the frictional force was minus c dx dt on the right. We pull it to the left. So it becomes plus c dx dt plus the, uh, the restoring, uh, minus the restoring force. So it becomes plus kx equals the driving force, which is f naught cosine omega t. Okay, that's our uh, differential equation for a mass on a spring with friction and with a driving force. Again, a uh, second order uh, linear inhomogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients given by these parameters. Mass, uh, frictional uh, coefficient, uh, spring constant, 
and the amplitude of the driving force. Again, um, one, two, three, four, five parameters. We can uh, non-dimensionalize uh, the variables in this equation and come up with a dimensionless equation. Let's do that again. Uh, remember that we divide through by m, and whatever is multiplying x becomes our omega naught squared. So omega naught squared is k over m. So here we will define omega naught equal to root k over m. Then we define the dimensionless time tau equal to omega naught times t. Um, we can define an dimension, dimensionless position variable. Let me call that capital X. If you work this out so that you want to get rid of the term in front of the cosine omega t, the correct scaling here is m omega naught squared divided by f naught times x. Uh, when you substitute these uh, dimensionless variables into this equation, you'll end up with um, uh, d squared capital X d tau squared plus alpha dx capital X d tau plus x equals cosine beta tau, which is exactly the equation we got for the LRC circuit. So the dimensionalization, uh, non-dimensionalization returns exactly the same equation as for the LRC circuit, except now the definitions are different. This alpha here, which plays the role of a damping coefficient, is C over M omega naught. And this beta here is still omega over omega naught, but omega naught is different. Omega naught here is square root of K over M. Okay, so let me review what I did. We have uh, the application of a mass on a spring. We're using Newton's law, F equals MA. The acceleration is the second derivative of x with respect to time. We need to uh, figure out how we're going to model, how are we going to model the forces on this mass. We're going to model the spring force using Hooke's law. We're going to model the frictional force by saying it opposes the velocity and is proportional to the velocity. And then we're going to model an external force, so someone is driving. Uh, this mass. F equals ma gives us a second order differential equation, inhomogeneous because of the external force, but uh, with constant coefficients. It looks different than our equation for the LRC circuit, but if we define uh, dimensionless variables using uh, this omega naught squared, which multiplies x after we divide through by m, if we define dimensionless variables, we obtain exactly the same equation as the LRC circuit, but with different physical meanings of the parameters. That's the beauty of non-dimensionalization. Okay, one more application. We'll do that in the next video. I'm Jeff Chasnov. See you in the next video.